In this video, we're going to take a look at how you factory reset a second generation Google Nest Mini. As performing a factory reset, we'll remove the device from our Google account and return the Google Nest Mini back to its initial setup state. Typically, we would perform a factory reset if we intend to lend, give away, or sell our Google Nest Mini. Before we start, Please note that in order for your Google Nest Mini to automatically deregister itself from your Google account, you will need to ensure that the device is connected to the internet. Also, if needed, you can identify which model of Google Smart Assistant you have from the wall mounting socket on the bottom of the unit. To perform a factory reset, we first need to mute our Google Nest Mini. The mic's off. Now locating the indicator lights on the top of the unit, we need to use our finger to press and hold down the center of the Google Nest Mini. After roughly 5 seconds, you will hear the following message. You're about to completely reset this device. Release to cancel. By keeping our finger held down on the Nest Mini, we will eventually hear this chime. We can now release our finger from the Google Nest Mini to allow it to begin to cycle through its reset process. It will now take roughly one minute to perform the factory reset. As our Mini is connected to the internet, it will first automatically deregister itself from our Google account. So it's very important that while the Google Nest Mini is being factory reset, we do not remove the power from the device. We will know that our Google Nest Mini has been factory reset when we hear the following message. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The mic's off. As our Google Nest Mini is still on mute, don't forget to disable mute. The microphone is back on. As our Google Nest Mini has now been deregistered from our Google account and returns to its factory defaults, it is now safe to switch off the device and remove it from its plug socket.